women nowadays are single because they are looking for husband not husband my married friends are like you should enjoy being single embrace it the grass isn't always greener okay maybe not but i bet the inside of your wallet is how is that dual income household treating you now that sounds like a woman that's tired of going 100 by herself and is more than willing to go 50 50. speaking of 50 50 um, the last time I reacted to this Kayla Nicole situation, which is she's receiving backlash for now, there was another woman that received backlash that I reacted to in the same video who actually came across my reaction from somebody else sending her my video. And she reached out to me and started following me on Instagram. And I wanted to show you guys um, the video, the original video that I reacted to. And then she did a response video into women throwing backlash at her. Check this out. If my man need me to go 50-50 with him, guess what? I'm going 50-50 with him. The key word is need. He needs me. And guess what? I'm his backbone. If he need me, I got him. Baby, do what you got. Whatever you need me to do, I got you. I got your back. You know, I'm pretty sure my man don't want me to do that. But if he need me, I know that if when he get on his feet, he, he going to come back and be like, baby, I got it now. Thank you for your help and assistance. And you welcome, daddy. I love you. You my everything. A few moments later. This lady asked me to elaborate on the 50-50 situation. Lady, listen. The fact that I have to elaborate on this is ridiculous. You're telling me that you will not go 50-50 with your man after he didn't pay the rent for a whole year. He didn't got your nails done. He sexually satisfy you. He fucking is a dad to the kids. He's emotionally available for you when you're acting a fucking ass. You know, when we get on our period. And you're telling me that when this man needs you in a sticky situation, you can't say, you know what, baby, I got you. All y'all women scream, my man, my man, my man. But where are you when this time is needed? I should not have to elaborate to nobody about you being there for your man when he needs you. Girl, it was never love. It was only lust. And I'm here to tell y'all right now, it was too many men back me and no women back me. And that's ridiculous. I don't even, I don't even, I'm surprised because I'd be damned if I let my man struggle. I'd be damned if I let my man follow his ass after he didn't been there for me through the worst times of my life. Clock it. Yo, she said what she said. Shout out to London. Um, we've had a few conversations on Instagram since she um, caught wind of my video of me reacting to her. And she's actually a pretty cool, dope chick, y'all, man. Like, beautiful girl. Um, it just goes to show you, man. A lot of this shit is cat, bro. There are women out there, beautiful women, as you can see, that are more than willing to go 50-50 with you, bro. And the conversations me and her had, we, we basically were brought up with the same, basically brought up the same way. So, yeah, bro. Don't, don't let this hype get to y'all, man. But you always know I'm going to cover it because it is some women out there living in this delusion. And let's go ahead and get into this Kayla situation. What's going on YouTube? Busy boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So I want to start off this video by replaying exactly what she went viral for and what she's catching so much backlash about and then i'm gonna show you the video of her being on another podcast where now she's trying to backpedal because she saw all the negative reactions that she got to what she said so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it yeah do i look like anybody that would split anything no this is the question do i look like i would go 50 50 on bills no okay you 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 had you had a girlfriend for a while, very public. Mm -hmm. The story that you were too damn cheap, man. That story was crazy, man. I I needed out the horses, man. How crazy is that? Man, so he blew through money the first day. Yeah, so now I'm, I'm watching, I'm living, I'm like, he trying to change hey, his life. Don't buy into that shit. Man. Don't buy into that shit. I'm not saying I I would I would I would, ever, I would never say that I was supporting her. She had a very financially stable life and and what she was doing 
uh, in her career. Um, but you got to be crazy if you think I'd never get like helped or gave her a couple of dollars to grab some food or a couple of dollars to grab some food or a couple of dollars to grab some food or she gave me some money to go get some food. You know what I mean, it, we were in a relationship for five years. A hundred dollars here and a hundred dollars there wasn't even thought about. A hundred dollars here and a hundred dollars there wasn't even thought about. You know what I mean? Which is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's dive into things, guys. I currently am experiencing a master class on the power of your words so. and the influence of the media. And as former athletes, I'm sure that's something that you guys can relate to. Yeah. I want to take the approach today as the student. I'm the student and you are the teachers. Okay. Like this is the classroom. Okay. Master class. I like that. Cause yeah. she always want to be the boss and always yeah. want to. Yeah. yeah. So I'm ready. I'm ready to learn. They call me sensei. So yes. Yeah, sensei. Yeah. Print the copy. It'll make you feel better. There is a part of me that cares about how I'm influencing people mm -hmm. and what they think of me and what they have to say of me. So looking back on my decisions, even recently sitting down and doing a podcast, I felt like there were moments where I articulated myself in a really good way. And then there were moments where if I could go back, I would maybe change the way that I said things because mm -hmm. it didn't fully embody my character or my mm -hmm. heart. But that's something that I'm learning, right? As athletes, y'all have mastered that because you've done that your whole life. And then so that's the part where she lost me at because I guess she must have thought that everybody forgot what she did for a living. So just to remind y'all, what is Kayla Nicole famous for? In addition to her career as a sports reporter, a sports reporter, you guys. Nicole has also made a splash on social media as a fashion influencer with over 800,000 followers on Instagram. She also has her own YouTube channel and has developed a fitness brand. All of those things outside of the obvious being Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend. Now, can you please explain to me how you got into doing sports, being getting into being a sports reporter, but you don't seem to understand how your words have that kind of an impact? Really? I'm sorry, I'm not gonna give you any grace on that. That's a bunch of bullshit. To sit over there and say in front of these brothers, y'all been doing this your whole life. Well, according to Google, ma'am, you've been, that's been your profession outside of everything that you do on social media and these other platforms. So what the fuck are you talking about? See what I mean, fellas? This is the kind of grace that women want you to give, but they're not willing to give it back to you, bro. And I want to show y'all this article that... Well, not more like an article, but more like a post that's kind of funny, man. But check this out. <laughs> so it says here, Travis Kelsey was providing Kayla with 3.7 thousand each month, and she had previously expressed dissatisfaction, citing a desire for more extravagant gifts. Interestingly, Taylor Swift, in contrast, did not make similar financial requests. And then in the bottom, somebody commented, damn, he left a greedy, combative black woman for a white woman that brings him peace. Travis really is a black man. Oh, my God. Oh, man. And just, and, and just for the people out there, 3.7K a year, I mean, excuse me, 3.7K a month is the equivalent of the average person's salary in America, basically. Doing the math in my head real quick, that's uh, about, yeah, about 44, 45,000. <clears> so I know somebody's gonna put the exact number in the comments so that way they can feel validated. I don't feel like doing it right now because I'm trying to not talk so much because that's another complaint. But anyway, let's keep it moving. I can't believe it's 2024 and we're still having a conversation about 50-50 on bills. But see, where she lost me is when she said, look at me. Do I look like a woman that's going 50-50 on bills? I'm not really sure what she meant by that because what does a woman that goes 50-50 on bills look like? The real question is this. Why don't you want to help your person build? Why do you think that you're better than your person? Why do you think that you're more valuable than your person? 
Why don't you want to put in and help build? That's the real question. Do I look like I would go 50-50 on bills? No. Okay. I think it's time that we wrap this immature conversation up. I think it is time that women grow up, get out of the delusion that y'all have created for yourselves. Find ways to be proactive and show up and help and support your person any which way you can. Y'all like to try to convince yourselves that I'm not going to settle. I'm okay with being single. But that's a lie. Because guess what? In your 20s and 30s, y'all sit just like she did and say, I'm too cute. Look at me. Do it look like I'm about to do this and do that. So y'all say, I'm not settling. I'm not going 50-50. I'm not dealing with no man who don't got more money than me. He needs to have this, needs to have that just for you to sit and be a Dr. Brian. Dr. Brian is 42 years old and sat right there on that couch and said, I'll date a 26-year-old as long as he ain't got no kids. I don't care about him not having no money as long as he come with good energy and he's high functioning. So basically, it's all a lie. Y'all end up right back at square one. In your 20s and 30s, y'all think y'all too good y'all convince yourselves that it's settling whole time it's not just to be 40 50 and now you're still going back down to what you said you wasn't gonna deal with so why not just get your man help your man build a foundation and be happily ever after why are y'all creating this delusion that this man that y'all looking for exists in 20s and 30s when he don't you gotta help that man become that man because by the time that man gets to his higher top self in his 40s and 50s, he not going to want to deal with no woman. And he not going to take no woman serious because he feel like y'all only there just because he got at the top spot. Only because he got the money that y'all are chasing. That's why the men at the top ain't looking at y'all like that. <laughs> they trash y'all and recycle y'all. Because they know that if they didn't have it, you wouldn't be there to begin with. And fellas, I'm going to leave y'all with this. I understand a lot of y'all got ego and a lot of y'all feel like, yeah, because we supposed to be a man and I'm not a man. If I don't provide 100%, and guess what, love? This is not back in the day, okay? Statistically, there's only that top 10% men that are able to cover all of the bills, which means a large portion of men are just regular working men and that is absolutely okay. Do not kill yourselves out here in the workforce or in the work field trying to prove to a woman that you can handle it, knowing that this is a big load that we are trying to take on. The economy says it takes two. You better go get you a woman that does not mind helping you. You probably don't want to have to have her equal pen 50-50 and you probably will take on the bigger portion, but at least you got somebody that's by your side that's willing to help. Not somebody that's too cute to help you to get to that next level. This is not that. You are valuable. She called herself a queen. You are a king as well. She thinks she's valuable. You are valuable as well. You are just as important in a relationship as a woman. And you do not got to put your knees at the bottom just to meet hers. We went out there with our posters. We fought for our equal rights. We said we want money too like the men. And now that we're making it, you better make her spend it. Because what is her money doing? Don't let these women trick y'all. I'm here to tell you as a woman, they're not going to respect you no more or no less. Whether you footing it or you ain't. They just dare to use you. You better put yourself right where you need to be. <laughs> right, right there on that line with her so y'all can both grow. So I just came across this. It says, my girlfriend of four years wants to move in, but says paying bills is a man's job. So who paying your bills right now? You live by yourself. <laughs> who paying your bills right now? And no, you're not moving in with me to pay nothing and we're not married. You've been a girlfriend for four years, which means you've been sitting on the bench, basically, of marriage for four years. You can't get into the marriage game. You're not in the game. You sitting deep on the bench for four years. Listen, ladies, if a man's been with you that long and he hasn't decided to marry you, it's because you're not showing wifey material. And this attitude may be a reason why. I'm not saying that we got to split the bills 50-50, but you're paying something. Because that little musty poom poom every now and then ain't good enough. You're paying something. You're not going to sit up in my house, run up my electricity bills, run up my maintenance bills, eat and make your back wider and, and use a bunch of water and think that you're not going to contribute something to that household. Because it'd be these same type of ladies that'd be like cooking and cleaning and slavery. Sounds like you're trying to make the man a slave. Sounds like you want me to go to work 12 hours a day and you sit at home and scroll TikTok. That's not happening. No, no, no. I saw this girl on Facebook talking about how men say they make six figures and then the six figures is like $103,000. See, and this is how I know you bitches don't know what real money is or that you don't make none of your motherfucking self. Because let me have Mr. $103,000 then because combined with mine, we clock in a crazy bag each year as a marital couple. Couple and with some good investments and some nice assets. You feel me? A little entrepreneurship. Maybe we might be clocking over half a milli a year quickly first three years married y'all don't know how to flip it you know back it up and reverse it y'all too busy trying to clock it and the crazy thing is only 20 percent of individual individuals in the united states 
make over $100,000 a year. So it's a rarity to begin with. It's not a lot of adults that's clocking that much money. Like the average, I think, is somewhere between what, y'all? Correct me if I'm wrong, like fifty-five dollars to 65000 And that's not even enough to survive in most cities, most states. Okay, so if you make over $100,000 a year, baby, you're blessed. Consider that a blessing. Okay, give me Mr. 100000 then, since that six-figure not enough. And I'll show him how to make it bigger. You bitches be playing too much, for real. Shit, only 37% of total households ended up bringing over $100,000 a year. Y'all be thinking y'all clocking something. Whole time, baby, post up your pay stub. Listen, Mr. 100000 come find me. Well, it's definitely a, fr a breath of fresh air to see that there are some women out there that do have some common sense when it comes to understanding money and exactly how rare it is for people to make a certain amount of money in order for them not have to work themselves. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the travel vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.